What's up guys, it's you and welcome back to Push to Rank 500 in the NU tier last episode, which was last week. We got a rank up to 1,307. We've had some decay since then. We're 34 and 24. Um, let me introduce the team real quick. It's kind of a variant of the team we ran last week. It's a little bit different, and I kind of modified it to beat stuff we lost last to, lost to last week, which was basically a stall uh and bulky offense so uh, looking at the team of course we have pawniard making a return from last week has a violet and defiant knockoff iron head sucker punch and swords dance spread scene here and then we also have haunter over miss maggie's and i chose haunter because um haunter is able to completely beat any walls that have like normal type stab and toxic specifically Audino. And uh, because it taunts Audino and prevents it from wish passing, it can Will O Wisp, opposing by sharps, and uh, get residual damage on stall. It also runs dual stab, which is cool. Spread scene here. And then we also have spike stacking crustal. You guys pretty much know the drill by now. And then we also have septile right here. And uh, septile is pretty cool because I wanted a, a physical threat to replace Samurott from last week. And um, septile seems like the right Pokemon for the job because I can. Uh, even though Sceptile has a base attack stat of 85, after it gets up a Swords Dance, it has some very spammable moves in Leaf Blade, uh, Earthquake, and Thunder Punch, which I... Whoa, why is this not there? Why is that not there? I swear you... Okay, Thunder Punch, there we go. Okay, anyway. So, that's resolved. Uh, and then we also have Kingler, who uh, is kind of a Scarf stall breaker. A lot of people don't really expect Scarf. Um, it has a base 130 attack stat, which is amazing has sheer force um and i believe okay it doesn't get waterfall which is a bit unfortunate because that would get the sheer force boost uh anyway so it has a uh, crab hammer double edge knockoff and rock slide for fire types uh, and then last but not least we have the same mess from last week who's here to basically uh heal up any pokemon we need um size shock energy ball hp fire and healing whiz so anyway um as i said we're at 1307 we need to get to 1000 371 to be on the ladder so let's quickly grab a match and uh, kingler can't learn double edge because it's in incompatible with another move i probably should have looked at that um so what move shall we use to replace double edge ba -ba 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 -ba. double edge double edge what move will we replace you with uh so we'll go superpower Alrighty. so anyway uh, i'm recording this bef on friday actually because I am going to go fishing over the three-day weekend. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, I can't wait, and that is why I use the fishing sprite and whatnot. But so um, I already have created Mega up, which is what I needed to get up. So that's good. And um, besides create a Mega, uh, I already got Poke Battle Saturdays recorded, so I got to record this and Diamond, and then I'm good for the weekend. So anyway, uh, look, looking at this guy's team, he has Cray Dilly. Basically, I see a spinner. Spinner is bad for me. Um, but I'm just going to lead Crustle and because I don't really see anything on his team that will stop me from getting up hazards. I don't like his Zangoose, but a Zangoose can Swords Dance up to plus six if he really wants to, because I'm just going to red card him out later and, um, you know, yeah, good things. So, um, one reason that I did add Kingler is because I wanted to be able to outspeed, uh, Sandslash pretty easily and, uh, threaten Kingler out if... Uh, Sand Slash goes for the knockoff versus Haunter. Um, so that's one reason that I have uh, Kingler here this week. I also like Kingler because uh, once I eliminate this thing, um, Kingler has a field day versus his team. He decides to lead with this thing, which is fine. I'm just going to get on my rocks. Uh, rocks are pretty, yeah, rocks are probably my best play. Um, because, okay, he goes for T Bolt, which does a lot. I red card him out into this thing. Okay, this is actually kind of bad for me. Um, I'm going. I'm actually just going to go for Spikes right here as he ends up going out into his Sand Slash. Uh, that is fine. I'm just going to go out into Haunter uh, because Haunter really doesn't care about anything but bar a knockoff at this point. And uh, Crustle has already gotten up the necessary hazards that it needs in order to um, in order to uh, do some good stuff. So he goes for Earthquake, which is fine. Um, I'm just going to Will-O-Wisp him here. If I hit the Willow, I'm going to be really happy because it'll shut down his Sand Slash for the remainder of the match. But he actually goes into Cray Dilly, which is even better, frankly. Because um, now I get more residual damage on this thing, which I need in order for Kingler to win. Um, so I'm going to go for a Sludge Bomb right here because it will hit him neutrally. It is stab, but that did nothing. Oh my goodness. That was actually really bad that that did nothing. Um, I'm going to go for Taunt right here because I don't want him like lead seeding or anything as he ends up going for Recover. 
So that is good. I am wearing down this crate alien. I'm going to go for uh, Sludge Bomb once again. Because uh, it will knock him out after a burn and leftovers. Uh, but he ends up switching out into his Weezing, which is fine. Um, I'm not really sure what Weezing wants to do. I'm going to taunt Weezing right now and then Will-O-Wisp it. I don't want him pain splitting at all. And uh, Haunter actually has a lot of fun versus his team because um, his physical things that hurt me get burned really easily. And uh, basically I get to rack up easy residual damage. Wow, that nice voice crack. Um, I get to rack up easy residual damage against a lot of his Pokemon. He can't switch Malamar in on me because of Will-O-Wisp. Um, but I'm just going to taunt him here as he goes for a Fire Blast. Uh, that does less than half. I am satisfied with that. I'm going to Willow. Um, I end up hitting my Willow. I'm 2 for 2. And uh, he is 2 for 2 on Fire Blasts. But he gets the burn, which is a little bit unfortunate. Uh, it's okay, though, because... Um, okay, what is uh, Cradilly at? Cradilly is at 32%. So it's going to take Rocks, which is 12%. It's going to take a Spike, which is 6%. Um, actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go out in a Crustle right here. And I'm going to get up one more Hazard against him. Oh, no, 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 this is a really bad play. Um, I, dang it, I'm going to double out to Kingler, predicting him to switch. Um, as he goes for a Fire Blast, and that did, like, all of nothing versus me. Um, so it looks like he's going to stay in here. Um, now do I go for Crab Hammer and hope I knock him out? I'm going to calc it real quick. Um, hopefully my calc, like, pulls up and legitimately works. Alright, sweet. Uh, so Kingler... Uh, we'll go in you choice band, um, except we will run, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll just change this to any other random item, uh, versus a wheezing, it's wheezing, right, you, you defense ball, alright, so, um, crab hammer is not going to do that much at all to max defense wheezing, which I suspect he is, so I'm going to go out in a crustal and sack that right here to get a little bit of residual damage, if he pain splits, that's even better for me, um, because uh, Pain Split uh, won't kick and he'll just lose another 6% of his health. I, I, I misplayed earlier by going into Crustle um, because what was going on in my mind at that point was, oh, he's going to, okay, he ends up going for the Willow. Uh, what was going on in my mind at that point is that, oh, he's going to go out for sure into a Sand Slash to spin right now because that's essentially a free spin for him right there and I didn't really want to give that to him. Um, so right here, I'm going to go for the Psy Shock. It is extremely obvious. Actually, oh, dang it. Never mind. He goes down to Cradilly, which is great. Um, because a Weezing, or now, uh, now, uh, this thing, I have, its name escapes me as of now. Um, can, uh, have some fun against this team. But, uh, I'm going to Healing Wish right here to prevent him from Rapid Spinning. And, uh... Basically, it was worth it for me because this wheezing is going to take more hazard damage on the switch in. And uh, Crab Hammer is still going to hit like a truck against the rest of his team. And I can wear down wheezing with. Uh, okay, I, I'm not sure the crit mattered right there. Uh, Kingler is pretty powerful. Uh, he goes into Malamar. Um, I think I'm good to stay in here and Crab Hammer. I don't think he suspect. Yeah, he didn't suspect me to be scarfed. I get a crit, but you know, I have a high critical hit ratio with uh, Kingler. So. Um, that's cool. He goes into this thing, his Zeb Striker. Um, I suspect he's just gonna like Volt Switch or something like that. I'm gonna go into Pawniard right here, uh, because uh, Pawniard is cool. And uh, yeah, there's the Volt Switch. That does a lot of damage. Um, but now I essentially lure his Weezing, and that's all I have to do. Uh, I lure his Weezing, I knock off and uh, get rid of his leftovers, and then allow Kingler to hopefully come in and clean up the game. Uh, the way he's playing this, it is for sure scarfed. But uh, as long as I get him to lock himself in on T-Bolt or Volt Switch, then I'm okay. Um, so we'll see what he decides to go out into here. He ends up going out into Weezing, which is fine, um, because I'm just going to knock off, as I said. Like, that's what I'm here to do. Here to knock stuff off. Knock it off, bro. Um, and if he willows, that will be even better if he predicts my Switch. But Or if he misses his Fire Blast, that would be amazing as well. Okay, he willows, which was the better play on his part. Uh, but I'm going to knock out his wheezing right there, which is great because there is nothing stopping my two remaining physical attackers from running a train on his team, except this, which is actually kind of annoying. He goes into this, which I suspect is going to, uh, like, close combat or something. Uh, oh no, he swords dances. This is a problem. I'm going to sucker punch again because um, I don't want him, like, basically I don't want him to knock out my Pawniard for free. 
I could knock off if I really wanted to. I think I'm going to knock off because um, it, it should do damage. I, I should have just done that in the first place because my mindset should not have been I don't want to lose by sharp for free, my or Pontiard. My mindset should have been I don't want to let him Swords Dance for free. But it didn't really occur to me that he was going to be Swords Dance, uh, which basically comes with experience in the tier. As I said, this is like my first time playing in you, so... Um, we will have to see what I can do against the remainder of his team. Uh, Sceptile probably won't be able to take a hit, but uh, you know we could work around that, I guess, because uh, Toxic Damage will be racking up for him relatively quickly, uh, which will aid me a lot, because um, if he decides to... Oh, wow, we're lagging really bad. Um, so, um, yeah, I should have knocked... I should have went for the knockoff right there. He just goes for the quick attack. You bypass my sucker punch. And uh, who has a better defense that? 266 versus 160. Okay. Kingler it is. Um, we may actually outspeed him, which would be amazing. Uh, I'm just going to go for the crab hammer right here. Because crab hammer is my best uh, option right here. If I miss, I lose. I am able to tank it, and I go for the crab hammer. That's going to do good damage. Um, but he wins by going for flamethrower right here. So I have to hope he goes for flamethrower and not... Or he, I have to hope he goes for T-Bolt and not flamethrower. Um, but if he's smart, he goes for flamethrower and wins. Oh, he goes for overheat, meaning that uh, I may be able to take it. Please, let me take a hit. Uh, I'm going to earthquake right here. Um, he overheats. I'm able to live one! Please knock him out! Come on, Sceptile! Yes! We pulled through! We pulled through! Okay, so that is a great way to start off the week, bringing us up to 1328. Oh my goodness. So, if you guys did enjoy that uh, very, very good episode, in my opinion, of Push to Rank 500 in the NU tier, please make sure to leave a like. It's a really just help show support for the stuff that I'm doing here on the channel. Also, make sure to answer today's comment question of the video, which is, what are you guys' favorite? What is your guys' favorite? Um, Hoenn starter. Hoenn starter. We'll go Hoenn starter. Oh, uh, yeah, what is your guys' favorite Hoenn starter? I said that like five times. Way to just calm down at the end of the video, Gio. Anyways, and with that, I urge you guys to subscribe if you guys are enjoying the constant content. And with that, I'll catch you on the flip-flop.